When I look south of the Canadian border these days, the journey toward a greener future looks more like the game of snakes and ladders, with more snakes and less ladders. <laughs> In Paris, we came together around the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change. An agreement that even with the temporary absence of American leadership, will still give our children a fighting chance. And I took great comfort last week in seeing American states and cities and universities and corporations that made it clear they will keep pushing forward for the sake of future generations. When the top 1% amass a bigger and bigger and bigger share of wealth and income, the concern among many in our countries is that the game is fixed against them. And it's part of what leads people to turn to populist alternatives that may not actually deliver, but are tempting. We're going to have to find a way to push back on propaganda and cultivate independent journalism and listen to those with whom we disagree.